Welcome back to the Morning Brew. Hope you are having a great morning. I know you are because you have the ability to see us, and that's good to be able to see. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Buster Daniel, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great, Kevin. Um, well, first of all, we were in the green room, and uh, Coach Daniel assured me that he was not a prophet. He was not Moses. He was <laughs> he's a football coach. That's right. That's exactly right. Coach, welcome to uh, Valley High School. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to be back. So it's, uh, it's, an, it's truly an honor to be back in that valley and, and uh, get to coach at your alma mater. Alma, my alma mater as well. Yeah, and that's one thing about our alma mater is we, we want our football teams to win. That's right. That's <laughs> exactly right. We want to be successful. So, Coach Daniel, what made you, and I know with new opportunities, uh, challenges always come along. Mm -hmm. um, and this position that you just embarked upon, it, it is a challenge. Right. What made you, give us two reasons that you wanted to uh, take this challenge on hand. Well, number one, like I said, it's 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 the alma mater. Mm -hmm. You know, I played there. My dad played there. My mom cheered there. My sister cheered there. <laughs> you know, so it's it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know, you always have ventures everywhere else. Mm -hmm. You you venture off in other places, but you always want your your hometown school to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing. Um, I, you know, I, I was I was close. Um, you know, just being down the road in Opelika, mm -hmm. but I always kept up with Valley, see how they're doing, and that kind of thing. So I, you know, I want to be successful, um, and I want to come back and give the city something they could be proud of. You know, and, and, and make the football team something they're proud of again. That's good. So you, you've been at Opelika High School the past 22 years. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, what has that experience taught you that you'll bring to this head coaching job that will allow you to be successful? Well, I, you know, I, I work for two of the, probably, in my opinion, the best head coaches I've ever yeah. been right you know. <laughs> um, you know, Coach Spence McCracken. Even mm -hmm. in Georgia, people know who Sp Coach Spence McCracken is. Mm -hmm. I worked for him for 14 years, and he taught me so much about uh, the game of football, um, how to be a head coach. You know, if I model him, I, I can't go wrong. You mm -hmm. know, and then of course I work for Coach Brian Blackman, which now is an analyst at Auburn University. And Brian taught me the same kind of thing, but in different ways. You mm -hmm. know, um, so it, I, when we first started Opelika, you know, our first year we were four and five, even with Coach McCracken at the helm. <laughs> you know, um, so we built that program mm -hmm. uh, under him, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and just taught so many different things on how to build a program. You know, how to work. You know, and things like that that, we, that I want to bring to Valley and teach those young men the same kind of thing. Okay, uh, interesting because uh, over like yes, over the years they've been a uh, very successful high school football That's program. Right. Now, <clears throat> what, name a few things that you would like to see different. I, I know you're bringing your own culture to mm -hmm. Valley High. Uh, what, as far as the culture change, uh, tell us some things that you would like to uh, implement in this football program. Well, we know one thing we got to do is we got to teach the kids uh, how to work again. And not saying they didn't work before, mm -hmm. but it's just a different way to work. You know, they you, you got to work smarter. Uh, we having to teach them, you know, how to work in the weight room. You know, we're how to teach them how to practice, how they're supposed to carry themselves off the field. You know, how they're supposed to carry themselves on the field, how they're mm -hmm. supposed to act in the classroom. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole thing's got to be changed, you mm -hmm. know. And it's just, and it's just like, like you said, a culture change. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, we got to get our, get our um, ideas and that kind of thing and put in place in there. But just, just teach the kids how to act and how to be good young men. And that's, that's okay. first. You know, we always tell, you know, we don't want to tell about a program right now. Right. We tell how good our program was five years down the road when we see our young men out in the street, you know, what they've done with their lives, how they act, how they treat their wives, how they treat, you know, people, uh, just citizens of where they live. You know, so that's, that's how you tell success. So this is pretty much is, is bigger than football. Oh, it's bigger than football. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We, you know, we teach your kids more than football. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, they got to be taught how to be young men, you know. Um, yeah, football is, is is probably third on third. the list. You know, you got to be you got to be family and then you know, just just how to how to how to act themselves exactly. in the football course. Mm -hmm. You know, but we we teach more than just football. We want to be successful on and off the field. That's good. That's good. Uh, Coach Daniel, tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about your uh, family life. Um, as far as, are you married? I am married. Okay, I am married. So tell yes. about, yeah, give your I, wife a plug in. Yeah, so I'm married. I, I, my wife. Uh, <laughs> you know, I always tell everybody I married the enemy. You know, I married. I married a girl from Lynette. <laughs> okay. You know. Okay. Um, you know, everybody heard the former Dana Washburn. Uh, Dana her, Washburn. Okay. her dad was the coach at Lynette for uh, oh gosh, 20 years I think. Oh yeah. Um, so I always get that plug in. I married the enemy, but uh, we've married for 30 years now. Awesome. I have three kids. Um, Cody, which is 28. Um, Taylor is 24, and Caitlin, which is still in Troy, is 21 now. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. She uh, she's at Troy, and she's got one more year. She's gonna be a teacher. Okay. So yeah, um, 
Been married a long time. Long time. Long All right. time. Awesome. So I'm sure she supports you wholeheartedly. Absolutely. You know, she was a coach's daughter. So she fully understands what a coach is all about and, and you know, what the life is. And, and you know, she don't give me a whole lot of grief not about not being home. Uh, <laughs> but, I'm you know, I, I'm, I'm teaching my guys right now that you don't have to step there 24-7. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I told my guys when we first when I first got there, guys, I'm not a meat to just meet. So I'm not going to keep you away from your families. If you've got stuff to do with your kids, you're going to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just the way I am. That's good. Um, so, but she still understands that you know the time is had to put in and mm-hmm. and time away from home. Okay. So she fully understands that. Okay. Now, coach, uh, we'll, we'll rewind uh, the tape just a little okay. bit. When, when when the job first became open at Valley High School and you saw it, uh, did something register right then, or did a little time go by and then you thought about it? Uh, what was your thoughts when you first saw this job? Well, a little of both. Okay. You know, when it first come up, you know, of course, uh, uh, excitement. You know, have I got a chance to get it again? You know, that's, that's the kind of thing. I, you know, should I do it? Should I not do it? You know, because I've applied for the job before. You oh, know? you have? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've applied before mm-hmm. um, and, you know, and didn't get the job. And uh, I, think, I think now that the, the timing is right. Um, but, yeah, uh, when it first came up, yeah, you know, uh, it was excitement, and then I said, no, I'm not going to. I got a good job at Opelika. Oh, yeah. You know, I can retire <laughs> in two years, you know, go wow. do something else if I wanted to. Uh-huh. And then and then down to the end, you know, it just hit me again to, to go ahead and give it a shot. And it worked out this time. It really worked out. And I, I know they were high on hiring somebody from the inside. Yeah, a local boy, <laughs> local, local boy, boy, which is good, you know, uh-huh. and, uh, and, and I am that. Uh-huh. I can't make any big promises what we're going to do, but I can promise you we're going to go to work. And, uh, and, and and try to turn this program around and get it back to the old valley, okay. which everybody wants. Now, tell us a little bit, little bit about your uh, staff. Do you have a lot of newcomers, or some of the old staff still remains? Or uh, the guys that were still there, the, all the the local boys, they're okay. still there. <laughs> all right, uh, they're great men. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I, I'm trying to name them. I mess somebody up. I got Steve Coker, <laughs> okay, which is a longtime friend mm-hmm. and has been there for a long time. Uh, Jonah House, um, uh, uh, Marshawn Harper. Marshawn is my de- defensive coordinator. Okay. Um, Adam Hunter, which is my AD and coach of running backs, and Patrick Shivers. Patrick's originally from Beulah, mm-hmm. but he's been about a few years now. He's also the head baseball coach. And I have hired two guys from the outside, uh, Brandon Johnson, which is uh, my offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Brandon worked with us at Opelika for about four or five years. All right, and then he went to Ufala with his best friend, Brian Moore, which is also a local guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Brandon moved back this way, and I, you know, he, he took a job with, with, with Beauregard. Okay. And I stole him away from Beauregard, <laughs> and boy, I'm, and I'm excited about that. So he's, he's really doing a good job. And I hired a young guy from Spanish Fort named uh, Cullen Milner. Mm-hmm. Cullen is going to coach linebackers for me. Okay. But that's the staff. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of great men. I'd love you to get to meet all of them. They're, they're good people, good people that are working hard with young men. Well, good. And like I said, told you back there, hopefully we'll get a chance to come down and uh, do a little interaction. You Love know, to have it. Love to start. have it. Be great. Now, with you being out in the community um, and people knowing that you are the football coach, mm-hmm. uh, what are some things you're hearing just from some people in the community um, saying about you being a football coach? Well, most of us glad you're back. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, and of course, I, I've already told you I am, too. I'm, ex- I'm extremely excited. Um, and, you know, they just, they just want to see they just want to see a good football team. Mm-hmm. They want to see get, kids compete. Not necessarily wins and losses. They mm-hmm. want to see a good program. Mm-hmm. You know, and wins and losses take care of themselves if you're a good program and you work hard. So that's what we're trying to get to. And that's what people are wanting. And you said something back there also. Uh, elaborate on this just a little bit about learning how to win mm-hmm. and learning how to lose. Well, uh, you know, I, I've always said you got to be the, a gracious winner and a gracious loser. You know, you can't be you can't be on top or a face guy when you win all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, if you lose, you got to be the same person. Mm-hmm. You know, that's and that's the way I look at it. You know, you you can't be an up and down guy. You know, people read into that and they see how fake you are. So, you know, you got to be the same person all the time. And that's what we're trying to teach our kids. You got to be a gracious loser. You know, you're not going to win them all. Mm-hmm. You, know, you can't win them all. Mm-hmm. And you'd love to, but you can't. Okay. Um, so, you know, you got to learn how to lose and, and win at the same time. That's good. That's good. So you open the season up with the enemy, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and where um, is, is that at Lynetta Valley? It's at Valley. It's, it's at home Valley. Home game. Mm-hmm. It's home game. It is. And it's on uh, August 25th. Okay. Now, will you... I hate to put you on the spot. Will you will you look at this one? Well, you can't help. You're a homeboy. <laughs> you can't help but to look at this one a little different. It's a little different. It is. It is. You know, it, and it's it's not a hate thing. You know, but it's your uh-huh. it's your rival. It, uh-huh. it was that way when I played. Uh-huh. You know, and, and 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 you don't like them that week, but you're also friends. You know, Cliff Story and I become good friends really fast. You know, and right. And he won't like me that week, and I won't like him that week. But okay. after that, we we're, we're gonna shake hands and we already had lunch together, uh-huh. and we're gonna do it again. 
Uh, but that week you gotta you gotta treat it like it's a it's a it's a win or lose, you know, all at all costs kind of game, you know. But it's not that way. You okay. know, we'll shake hands at the end, win or lose, and, and we'll go on from there. But but yeah, that's that's a special game, you know. It's been that way a long time. You mm -hmm. know, like I said, my daddy played in fifty nine at Valley. Mm -hmm. He played against Lynette, and of course my father in law was the head coach of Lynette, so mm -hmm. we'd always had a little little uh, punching back and forth. But uh, but yeah, it, it, it is a little different game. That'll be good. That'll be good. Hopefully we can do the scoreboard show live there at uh, Ram Stadium. That'll be great. That's, that's another question for Kerry right there. He's, <laughs> he's twiddling his thumbs right now. But Coach Daniel, man, we uh, appreciate you coming up to be a guest on the morning show. All right. I enjoyed uh, it. Thank you for having me. Uh, with the program. And uh, I know you're going to have a really positive impact on uh, the players and the community. Well, I appreciate that. And that's what I hope to do. All right. Okay. We're going to pause and take a commercial break. And we'll be right back with more of the Morning Brew.